Hi, this is Zombie Rust. In this video I'm going to review a 1989 title release by the name of Special Criminal Investigation, aka SCI. This game is the follow-up to Taito's 1988 Chase HQ and was followed by Super Chase Criminal Termination from 1992 and 2006 Chase HQ An Urgent Call from Nancy, aka Chase HQ2, not to be confused with the Mega Drive game with the same name. In comparison to the original Chase HQ, let's say that SCI is more focused on the overall action, while Chase HQ was more focused on the driving aspects. The turbos are still available, however, the game runs a bit slower than its predecessor, but SCI has the addition of guns, which makes things much more interesting. Now, besides crashing into the enemy's car, it's also possible to arrest them by using gun power. This gives the game a shooter touch. The gun can also be used to force other cars to change lane, which helps a lot. And in the last levels it's upgraded to a shotgun. Also, let's not forget the bonus rocket launcher that the helicopter drops, which comes loaded with 5 rounds. The graphics are good overall, the sprites are big and colorful, but there are a few symmetry problems. Some objects have the wrong size when compared to the size and distance between the car, like most of the buildings in a landscape. Of course this happened a lot with these old racing games, though it's worth mentioning. This game is hard when played with the default arcade options, so increasing the turbo stock, timer or simply turning off the frustrating damage clear that continue option will not spoil the gameplay. The music runs almost unnoticed being overlapped by the sound effects, but even with the proper attention paid it doesn't sound anything but average. The sound effects on the other hand are very good for their time, in particular Nancy's communications and the enemy's statements, in the end of each stage, sound very clear for a 1989 game, by the time it was unusual to hear long digitalized phrases at all. Karen! Roger! Stop talking nonsense! I know nothing! It's Bob, the boss! She isn't the one you guys are looking for! <laughs> Bob, I know nothing! Overall, Special Criminal Investigation is not a bad game. It has some flaws here and there, but in the end, the mix between Chase HQ's unique concept with the addition of guns results in addictive gameplay, and that's what matters most. It's just sad that the game is too short, though it still manages to have two endings. This is Omirus, thanks for watching.